Hey, hey guys, Spray and Pray here, and welcome back to the Europa Diversalis Let's Play of Arabia. And I just noticed that, yay, guess what? Our truce is up with Hajez. Alright, so how much army does Hajez have? They have no allies, which is fantastic. Um, we just gotta look for their stupid name in, their, in the H's or whatever. Hajez, Hajez. Hajas has 8,000 troops, which we will crush with our 16k. Um, so let's declare war on them right now after we close off military. We need to get rid of our military axis with them. But then as soon as that's done, we can declare war on them, and we are going to beat their ass so hard. Alright, so our, our first goal is going to be grainy or something like that. Grain. How about that? So we lose some piety, but that's okay. Gain piety. Alright, so let's uh, be on the lookout for that 8,000 Hejaz army. Alright, we killed that. Oh, there it is. Hello. Hello, Hejaz's army. Uh, okay. Uh, repay loan. Yeah, repay it if we can. It's definitely the first option. Alright, and uh, there goes Hejaz's army. And I guess we're going to chase them back. Dropping sieges on the way, because we have uh, full troops. Alright, uh, they're, they're probably going to go down to Mecca. But that's okay, because we're going to kill them anyways. Oh, nope, they didn't go to Mecca. They went to the thing next to Mecca. Alright. Uh, but that's good, because Mecca's actually got a mountain defense, I believe. Fuck Karakoin, Lou, give me those points. Alright, we're going to drop another siege and then use these army to fight them. I guess they're going to go here. Oh well, if they go onto the island, that's fine. Uh, nope, they're going to go here. Or we will kill them once more. And it uh, looks like it's time for another tech of uh, military. Sweet. Right, and now they're going to go to here and stop. And then we'll finally finish them off. Alright, and we'll just stick there and uh, do ourselves a favor. And siege that. Uh, actually, go over here with us and siege that. Yes, goodbye. Siege over. Let's go up here then. Aw, oh, damn it. So they're going to go to Qatar. Oh, look at that. They're on their little island. How much manpower does the Jez have? Only 4,000, so yeah, they're, they're almost out of manpower. Ugh, but this is... The, the, them being free is the most annoying thing ever. I just wish they would die every day of my life. One day it'll come true. And they will be dead. Unfortunately, that day is not today. Because man, they just they just have so much land that, that is definitely ours. Ugh god, at least we already have we have cores on everything, so it's just gonna be so easy to just take it from them. And it's gonna feel so good. It's just gonna be like oh yes, mine. Alright, the unfortunate thing is that it's gonna be several it's gonna be more than one war. That's pretty much a guarantee. That it's gonna be more than one war. I'm so glad that we can pay all these loans off on time, though. That's very... Uh, that makes me feel nice and warm inside. Trade steering. Sweet. I had more yearly prestige. That's good. can always have more... I love prestige. So basically what we're going to take is just the first half up here. And we're going to try to focus on taking the, uh, this, the coast as well. Uh, I guess I'll take the uh, tax modifier for the meantime. That sucks. Trade dispute against the Tim Tims. That sucks. 
More reinforcement speed. That that's nice. Like that. Oh god, I just it's so it's they're so ugly in our land. It's just killing me on the inside that they have our lands. Uh, what does it say? Timurid's opinion of Arabia. Arabia gets two successful merchants in Smarkand. They stay. Alright, good. Uh, let's sit up here and we're going to help them finish that siege really fast. And then once they're done, we will move in on uh, this in uh, Mecca. Hopefully with the combination of our uh, of our general as well as the uh, the numbers advantage by win. Uh, lose piety and gain money or uh, lose money and gain piety. I think I'd rather gain money and lose piety just for right now. Alright, good. Alright, and we're going to send some there and there. We're going to just stand our guys there and hope they die. I wish I, I... I can't believe... I'm sorry, you know, I'm just not really good at managing these armies. Because, especially with that war against Karakoinlu in the last episode, we kind of got smacked a bit with uh, in regards to my manpower. So I really think I need to do better at decision... deciding those sort of movements and making sure that when I do decide on a thing that we're going to do, that it's going to definitely succeed. A 10 revolt? Holy shit. We really still have unrest after this? God damn it. Okay, so the last thing I want is another half of my country being uh, released to these bastards. So uh, I'm going to think, I think we're going to take a little bit of a break from sieging here. And we're just going to go gather our forces and use them to just crush this little revolt quickly. Oh, hey, look at that. We got Iraqis free. Ooh, that's great. Um, we're going to take them over real fast then. Uh, can we declare war now? Uh, we're going to take Kalaha. We just might as well have the war now, just because it's going to be really quick that we're going to want to take them over. Okay, so we're going to use this guy to go kill this. And then we're going to head back around and kill those guys in Mecca. And then we're going to go up there and kill those guys in... Uh... Oh good, we got Qatar. Yeah, let's send those guys up to Hubble Smear. Let's see, uh, will they give us all of our cores back? They'll give us 91, really, but not all. Is a wall? Did we not get a core on that? Oh, we might not have cored that. Oops. Oh well. It's not the end of the world. We can always court later. Alright, so um, we're going to go drop a little bit of a siege here in Trumbia. And now we're going to go kill Baghdad. Or sorry, not Baghdad, but Iraq. Does Iraq have more cores? I think that's all their cores. Pretty much. I mean, there's two down here, but really, like, those aren't going to matter. Anyways, with all that land gone, Hajez should not be able to support any sort of navy, so hopefully we can just, you know, jump on over there. Uh, 30 or 10 in rest. I guess we're going to get the 10 in rest, unfortunately. Where is this? In Mayena? Let's go ahead and just give them a little bit more autonomy for now, then. Alright. Uh, get in there. Alright, we're going to try to find that Iraqi army, because I didn't see it. I guess we squished it? Never mind. I didn't see it squished, so I was just wondering. Um, but yeah, we want the 100% war score, which they will give us eventually, but not right now.
Alright, there we go. They're gonna give us what we want in Hejaz. Ah, so much better. So much- not- not perfect, because I still want this shit. But it's so much better looking than it was. And then we have a valid claim here until 15 Oh, wow, that's- does that- oh my god, I think they did that thing where you can- it actually, like, if you go to war with a country, it'll extend the cores. That is so cool. Who's Oman allied with? No one. So I think we're gonna go to war with Oman, too, just in the spirit of things. But we're gonna wait for uh, that to go away. A trade policy working, sweet. So we should be making a lot more from trade. Uh, okay, we got a siege done, so we can send these guys down there to get ready to attack the uh, Oman. We have all these extra admin points saved up, so we'll use that to our advantage to core all pretty much all of Oman. Because I'm pretty sure to full annex them is not much... Yeah, it's only 75%, so we'll we'll do that. That's That'll be easy. Uh, but oh my god, I'm so excited. Look at all this accepted culture we're going to have here, guys. It's going to be pretty massive. Um, so the other th what I was thinking the other day uh, when I was noticing this, uh, how we have such little, um, you know, how we have such a massive accepted culture, I was thinking that perhaps the reason why this is so big is because the base tax is so low. Like if you look at the Polish accepted cultures, maybe this, since it's got a lot higher average base tax over here, perhaps that's why it's small. And if you added up the base tax over here, it might be equivalent. But I mean, this is a lot, a lot of of culture of land and a lot of base tax. More importantly, so I, I'm thinking against that. That that's probably not true. I wonder whether Byzantine nationalists and not uh, and not. I mean, having the Byzantines free would be great, actually. So Byzantium, like if we could feed them all their cores, that would be awesome. Let's get that converted. Some of this over here is already uh, Sunni. Or not anymore. They apparently converted it, never mind. Alright, Iraq, die already. We're sending troops home. One, two, three, Iraq belongs to me! Damn it, it didn't work. Oh well. Sooner sooner than later. It will be true. Soon. Who's Kara Coinly fighting? Ottomans? Ooh, shit. Sorry, QQ. But you did. Okay, I think we have enough troops over here to fight Oman. Who's sieging Yemen? Oh, just rebels? Oh, because they've got a body rebels. Okay. They're Sunni natural or by their nature. Uh, we're going to start with uh, this one, yeah. Uh, okay, and then Iraq is almost done. What's nice about the way we're doing this is that uh, we might actually have enough manpower now after the... Uh, we might actually have enough manpower once we're done uh, with these wars to not have our thing anymore. The negative, the the peasant revolt possibility. Alright, so let's core all this shit. Shouldn't be that expensive. Yay, cores. Cores light. Did they say that something was not no longer a valid rival? Hmm, I wonder who that was. I think it maybe have been might have been Hejaz. Oman has apparently thirteen thousand troops. So it's good that we're moving in over here. Alright, as soon as they get to Liwa, we're gonna drop our siege here and okay, let's go kill them. With our pretty boss king as our general. Alright, and I think they're gonna go to Mascout. Uh Trade efficiency, I think, is going to actually be more efficient or helpful in the long run. Alright, the Mascout is done. 
They have 6,000 troops, but I bet you that's all in the their ally, because I don't see them anywhere else. So let's just drop a uh, carpet siege of them, and then we'll probably end up just full annexing. Whenever one of these sieges finishes, we can send them to somewhere else. Uh, what's this? Oh, it looks like uh, Hejaz has some units being built. How kind of them to build us units. We'll send them to go and attack there. Let's get these uh, these trans or these uh, trade ships to be helping because we're paying for them, right? So they better help. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and eh, we're gonna save our money for right now. I like that we're look at that prestige ninety nine. I like it. Better relations over time. Not a bad idea. Oh, oh man, oh man, oh man. Tunisia wants to get married. Okay, I'll take it. We only have six. Holy shit, we have a lot of loans. God damn. Well, at least we've been paying them off. All right, and we can continue doing so. Our manpower is increasing. Good, even though we're taking attrition from sieging. Which is unfortunate, but it's necessary evil. How long is our truce with Hejaz? Uh, 51, so we have a long time. How much is the Yemen uh, annexation? 113? That sucks. So we're going to have to fight two wars against that as well. We're paying off our loans nicely though, even though we're at all these wars. It's because we're fighting just... I think it's just because we're, you know, we're uniting our culture. It's not that hard. Uh, we just got all of the cores in Iraq. That's convenient. Got a bunch of autonomy, or unrest rather. So I'm going to raise the autonomy where it'll let me. To reduce the unrest. Because the last thing I want is to have a bunch of rebels right away. Especially after we just finished coring. I mean, come on. Cut me some slack. Alright. Oman is dead. Let's get our troops up here to Baghdad where they can uh, sort of chill for a bit. Repay the loan. Cyprus now. I, I mean, I kind of guess... I guess that's kind of cool how... now. So Cyprus is definitely going to be free as unless the uh, they come down here and deal something about it. Oh, we never went to war with the Ottomans, so we lost our claim on that. Oh well. At least we went to war with everybody else. So, as soon as five years go by from when we started this war, we will have the whole thing. So it was, uh, so it'll be 1503 when we get it. Uh, unless they'll take it now, let's see. Sometimes they'll take full annexation, but no, because it's gonna be it's gonna be a while. All right, we successfully converted them. Good. Let's keep on doing that. Uh, let's go ahead and spend the admin power right now, and we're gonna finish our trade ideas. So we got trade income, and then we got another merchant. So now we have five merchants. So where the fuck am I gonna put this guy? <laughs> uh, is there anything that I can steer towards us? No. I, don't even, I wish I could discover the Ivory Coast, because I'm pretty sure that could be pushed towards us. Whatever node is this coming towards us, I'd like to push our way, but... I mean, I guess I could come over here and tell shit to go this way, but... Oh, God, it's like, I don't even know. <laughs> We could have someone go here and transfer trade power to us, because that's 2.4 that's staying. So yeah, let me get this guy that's actually going to go all the way over there. Like, the guy in the Gulf of Aden, it doesn't really matter which way it goes, because then we have we have a guy here already. Um, Sorry, we don't have a guy there. We have a guy up here that's already pushing it towards us. Ooh, this I don't like.
So what's this one over here? Goa? Yeah. There we go. Because that's... Look at that. It's They're transferring it all up to there. To Persia. And then... Oh. But shit. It comes back to Aleppo anyways. So see, like, this is so stupid. But whatever. Now it comes more directly to us. Maybe we'll make more money. Don't know. We make eight now. So that's pretty good. We only have three loans left. Thank God. I don't think this is ever going to finish converting. Oh no, it's going. How's our uh, Pleiades up there? Good. Alright, uh, Oman, do you want to have uh, full annexation yet? Nope, but you're thinking about it. You'll be there eventually. Who's Yemen? They're allied with uh, Balakistan. Balukistan, really? Well, it doesn't really matter. Um, so Yemen, you only have 7,000 troops? Okay. I can dig it. We can build up more some more troops in the meantime. Actually, let's repay loans, rather. Um, and we're going to use our... We're going to raise war taxes for the time being. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at all those uh, nationalists. So I do not like the Ottomans... Hopefully they'll just take their little... Do they have cores? They have one core, so hopefully that's all they'll take. Uh, but unfortunately, it looks like they're going to take more, just because they have sieged almost 100% of Karakoinli. But they might just say, like, oh, release Georgia as a sovereign state and give us our thing, and that's it. Which would be preferable. Okay. All right, uh, let's see if we can't build some... No, we need to... Do we still have loans? We do. We still have one loan. So let's uh, let's repay that last loan, and then I can finally do what I want to do <laughs> with my money instead of spending it all on repaying those stupid loans. Okay, and then it's going to be only two more years before we can say 123 Oman belongs to me. Merchants doing poor... I'll lose the stability, and then we'll just... Pump that back up. Okay. Uh, we need a western border, though. Which is why I'm sad that we, we don't... Because I want to I want to eat Tunis. We could take over this Tripoli. And release Tripoli. Is that Tripoli, too? Mm, so that'd be a lot of... of Vassal room. Looks like Tlemcen is taking over some of these guys. Which I'm assuming that... Oh god, Tlemcen's allied with the Ottomans. Fuck that. Ugh. God damn. Let's go back and improve relations with the Ottomans just to have them be as happy with us as possible. Because we can. Oh wow, look at that little itty bitty Persia. I think we're going to vassalize them. Let's, uh, let's peacefully vassalize them. They're, they're already improving relations with us. Fortunately, we have a salt crisis. Oh, they're a subject of the Timurids, I see. Our current heir... Oh good, he's crappy too. Um, Alright, so we got a, another heir, which is actually, he's better. So he's 614 instead of 6, I believe it was 404 or something like that? I don't know. Alright, we're repaying all of our loans now. Great. Okay, um, let's go back to Baghdad where we don't take attrition. I'm very, very... Ooh, Funge. We ceded Funj, Sudan to Funj. Uh, isn't Sudan like over here? Uh, 
Uh, if you say so, game. Alright, only one more year and then we can uh, get our 100% against Soman. Not even a year now. Uh, we're not going to take up a two years early. We're going to spend some points on uh, man manpower buildings. Anywhere we can get 25, I'll take it. We're out of moolah. Oh, hello. Oh, there we go. Never mind. We have Oman. Uh, cancel that. Uh, let's cancel that as well because we don't need that. Because they're since they're a vassal already. Full annexation, sure. All right, I'm just gonna go. Uh, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and manage that. Make core, make core, make core. Oh wow, Muscat, that was expensive. Why? We had a claim. Oh god, we lost claims on it just now? Seriously? And then we're gonna lose these ones in 1505, so we better hurry the fuck up. We can choose a new idea, I don't know which one. I guess we'll do a military idea, just because we have all the extra points. Um, I'm pretty sure the best one is defensive ideas. Because you get the extra 15% morale of armies, which we can get right now. So why not? We'll take that. Okay, so we get yearly tradition plus one and morale of armies plus 15%, which is great. Alright, let's go ahead and build some more boats here. All right, and then we're going to send these armies down here to uh, Yemen as well because we're going to need to invade them. And, uh, yeah, I think that's good to go for right now. I don't really see anything else to do. Yeah, because all of our shit's gonna go go way up. Wait, was that Hejaz that had the claim? We only have claims until 1505, so let's declare war on Yemen. Oh, we have a truce still. Till when? June 1505. When is this over? June 1505. Aww. Are you shitting me? It's really the day that the truce is over? That it's the same day? Aww. That's so stupid. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, gain piety? Do we have a truth with the still? Yeah, for like forever. Oh well. We're big Arabia now, so... Oh! That's a big Ottomans now, too. Poop. I don't know why, though. Like, their culture is not that great. The, Tur the Ottomans, well, I, I don't understand why they're so strong. It's probably just their ideas and maybe their base tax of their culture, but uh, still, like, they're too strong for no reason. What's, what are their, they're probably one of the strongest force limits in the world. 62? Jesus. We're only 39, so we need to step up our game. We also need to build some more troops. Oh god. It's Ottomans. What are their uh Oh, they probably have a ridiculous amount of ships too. I am just dreading the day that, that we have the uh that they declare on us. What's their mission right now? Safeguard Eastern Anatolia. Which means This is Anatolia. No. Okay, so they they're gonna not leave. They're gonna leave us alone according to their mission, I guess. 
So yeah, Yemen, there's no reason to be down here except for, well, we, we're going to probably fight them anyways. <sighs> Hopefully with our unified culture, we'll be able to fight more aggressively. Oh, there's a biz I thought I saw a Byzantine army. Where's Byzantium? Oh, right here. Hello. Are you somebody's vassal already? And they won't be our vassal because they're uh, they're Catholic or whatever. So, whatever's. Protect Alexandria. How are we doing, by the way? Do we have four? Ooh, forty-two percent. We're still. I don't understand how we're more strong over here. It's stupid, but whatever. I'll take it. Points are points, I guess. Okay. Can never have too much manpower. That is for damn sure. All right. Let's get some more cavalry built. We don't want the uh, the Ottomans to eye us anytime soon. It's another five to go for our seven, so that should probably be enough infantry, or cavalry rather, for now. Convert some Shia. Uh, we got our con we got our cores rolling in. Gained those cores, fantastic. I'm gonna do another idea here. Do we want to get the leader maneuver, or are we saving for tech? Uh, we're saving for tech now, so let's let's not worry about doing changing right now. Uh, Ottomans are unfortunately, even though they're they, so they they have more troops than us, and their units are going to be better. So that's going to really fuck us over. I hope they don't attack us. It's going to be really difficult to fight them. We're going to need like a European ally or something like that. Like if uh, if Europe could go to war with the Ottomans again, that'd be great. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Conversions, let's go. We're never going to get our mission, to, which was to be 100% the same religion. Alright, we're still working on some cores. Oh, there's a missionary working there, so that's why we can't core it. We got a rebel uprising? We're going to increase the autonomy over here to decrease the chance of an uprising. Perfect. Alright, so hopefully that'll stunt the rebellion's growth. We just lost our claims on everything. Uh, and our truce just went out as well. Unfortunately. So let's start fabricating claims. And then we can take at least those four provinces. Um, I think we're going to make Alodia a vassal. So let's, uh, let's start getting work on working on that. Because they're going to be a good vassal, I think, because they're not allied with anyone really except for Ethiopia. Which is pretty... Ethiopia is pretty strong, but they, they're they they're all like... Uh, oh, Ethiopia is Muslim? I didn't even know that. Shit. Uh, Elodia is Muslim as well. So let's see, Ethiopia and Elodia. Let's make sure that they don't have any like super big armies together. Elodia... Uh, has 6k with 10k manpower and Ethiopia which is going to be down here has 7 so we're fine fighting them so let's get this guy out of the he doesn't need to be doing anything in the Ottomans anymore let's get this guy on the these guys on the border over here so Elodia do you have a lot of culture down here Okay, so you show the Nubian culture, and these are all the same over here. Okay, okay. So that's that's nice to know. We can do this. We could do that, but we're saving for technology. 
Our manpower. Oh, that's great. I'm glad we have that. Um, I wonder why these guys haven't automatically grouped up yet, even though they're supposed to. Whatever. <sighs> okay. So, Elodia. Do we have any war? No, we need to fabricate a claim then. Let's fabricate the claim on uh, this close one. And we only need one because we're vassalizing them, not uh, conquering them. Boostability for the time being. Since we're still probably working on the conversion over there anyways. What's this? Uzbek? Sure, Uzbek, you can have military access. Who are you fighting? Mongolia. Ooh. The Tim Tims are fighting some Indians. Ottomans are truced with the... Uh, Georgia and stuff, so I, I hope that Europe comes and knocks on the Ottomans door again. Uh, it looks like Tunisia is getting wrecked. I wonder why they didn't call us into that war. It's probably because it's from one of their allies. Alright, we got a conquest against Yemen, but we got to fabricate more claims. Do do do, splendid. We got a claim on Watsit. What's that? I don't see shit. I mean, it could be any of this stuff over here. Or down here? Nope, I don't see anything. Whatever. So apparently it's Karkoin Lu. That one right there. Yeah, there I found it. Do we still don't we still have a truce? Nope, actually. Um, and they're allied with Uzbek, and they only have Georgia as their vassal, and they're probably getting wrecked anyways. So we could probably take these two provinces from them and get our culture from them, which would mean that we're only missing two provinces from our culture group, which is pretty cool. Anyways, guys, that's probably going to about do it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We are Arabia. Yay. And we conquested back our Hajez. I'm really happy about that because I was really mad about that. Anyways, see you guys next time. Spray and pray out.